Hi everyone, new video for today and this one is going to be the I tried art and craft supplies from AliExpress.com video. I believe that's what I'm calling it, something like that. Anyway, I decided I want to do this video. Basically, you, I have bought a bunch of stuff from AliExpress or Wish. This one's from AliExpress. I have got a Wish one that I will be doing in a couple of weeks. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. Um, where I buy lots of fun and intricate kind of arts and craft supplies and let you know whether it's worth purchasing them from AliExpress. If you don't know what AliExpress is, it's a extremely cheap website or app where you can buy arts and craft supplies and all sorts of things like kitchen stuff, clothing, beauty stuff, all that kind of stuff. And it's almost too good to be true price. So there's a few things here that I have seen that would substitute some kind of staples that you would have in your craft supplier and you would probably look to spend maybe three, four, five times the amount that you would spend on AliExpress. So I'm going to show you these things. I will link them below. I'll have nice pictures on the screen and um, yeah, let's get into it. I don't, I know what I've bought, but I don't know what kind of order they're in. The packages arrived and Stephen looked, opened them and made sure that they were there and ticked them off. So I've got everything from AliExpress. So I thought I'd do them in two different videos. So let's get into it. A rather nice friend's bag full of packages to pull stuff out of so i'm just going to dive straight in so we have as you can see stephen has opened this one just to make sure it's in there so obviously covering my address what is this oh okay i remember all these now these are i need to put this rubbish somewhere some acrylic paint pens so they're apparently by a brand called sta i will link i will put the page on the screen if i find it on my phone i'll see what it was called diy graffiti paper white glitter letters stickers craft acrylic pen permanent markers pen mark writing art supply stationery apparently a paint pen so i know that they were extremely cheap they both well, now I've got to try and get them out of this plastic. You know, you've got to pull the one bit. Oh, seriously, this is going to take forever. I just want to take the lid off. Come on. So let's try the one. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. Some paper. Let's just go onto a blank art journal page. Does it say her? Oh, shake several times. Press the tip down for a while. Recap the pen tightly after use. Okay. Okay, so the nib is kind of like a yellowy colour. I think because it hasn't got any paint in. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I can see the paint. I can see the paint. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> can you see that? It's like running... Do you know what? <coughs> it stinks. Can you see? Can you even see? That's really cool. I like that one. That seems pretty cool. It'd be good to see. What's that lid on? Oh, you can't put the lid on. That doesn't seem tight enough. I'm guessing that... I don't understand. Okay. Right, where's the black one? Let's try the black one. Why? Why do they open like this? Come on. Okay, black one's open. <gasps> that white pen's going to my new top, don't I? Again, yellowy nib. Okay, okay. Right. I'll just move that. Okay, black one. a little bit more work this one come on how cool that is really fluid i like that very fluid no 
breaks in it. Love, 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 love those. Don't worry, I will cover those pages up in my upload. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is the lids don't seem to want to stay on. So I wouldn't put these in a pencil case. But other than that, they work fine. So um, I'm actually really liking these. I'd probably give these probably about a 9 out of 10 for these. Only because I'm a little bit worried about that lid not going on very well. Either I'm really weak or they're not very designed very well. Let's have another dive into the bag. Okay, we have another one. Smaller package. How, how, oh, he's cut, oh, okay. Oh, we have a gel pen, okay. I think I got this because the Posca white paint, not the Posca pens, the Uniball Signals in white can be expensive. So this is called a Touch 10. Touch 10, Touch 10. And this, uh, what does this say? This is listed as a one piece 0.8mm white paint marker, pen, highlighter, liner, sketch markers, gel pen for graffiti, art supplies, markers, manga, painting. Is what that is. Um, again, I won't have anything to try this on. We are going to just use this dark paper. Okay, it feels nice. It's kind of like a, a ballpoint. I mean, I'm trying, might be because that's textured. That's not very fair, is it? That's fine. That's a smooth one. Let's run a smooth one. Okay, we have a smoother paper. I mean, it's writing, but it's not. Okay, not so shiny. Normal cardstock. Mmm. Mmm. That's how I feel about that one. I mean, it's nice. But I feel... I mean, I'm struggling here. I feel it would greatly struggle. Can you see that? I feel it would greatly... I feel that that would struggle on paint. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's a nice enough pen, but it's very scratchy. So I probably would give that probably about four, four out of ten. Not bad. I would, oh, if I had to pick between this and the uh, the um, Signo pen, I would probably go for the Signo pen. So not really into that one. Let's have another dive in. Another, I'm trying to make sure I cover my dress. Another small package. Oh, it's a paintbrush. <laughs> I was like, what is this? So what's this listed as? They always have about six million names. This is a refillable art marker, wash brush, large water brush, paint brush, IMS, water tank, calligraphy brush, pen watercolour. So this is how it looks. I don't understand. I'm guessing if you put ink in here, this is like a little stopper. Okay. So I guess you pop. Twisting. Forever. Um, am I not? Oh, I'm to strip the wrong way. There you go. I was being stupid. I mean, it feels really nice. It's a really nice. Brush, that's a really nice brush. It feels really synthetic. Ah, I really like that. I had one of these um, before and I couldn't get, I say that, I couldn't get this barrel bit off so I needed a new one. But that's, that's really nice and I, the the bristles feel really nice and soft. I can't, I could, I've never felt a paintbrush like that. And I like this, so if anyone puts ink in these, the ones from AliExpress, I've never seen one that comes with this, has the little stopper bit so you don't waste ink if you don't want to use it all and want to just wash this bit. So yeah, I really like that. So that's, I mean, that's probably around, probably 9 out of 10 as well. I really like that. I just wish it came with more. Um, but, you know, you get what you paid for. So love that. What else have we got in here? We have got some bigger things in here. 
Oh, okay. I have my hair on it. Does that mean it's good? Another big package. Can't get into it. Ooh, I remember ordering these. These, I think, are supposed to be a knockoff of a brand that I can't really remember. These are... There you go. Touch, touch new single colour markers, brush pen, sketch, alcohol based markers, jewel head, manga drawing, pen, art supply markers. So, these, I think there is a brand that I can't remember, but I will put it on screen, the picture. There's a picture of like a whole case of these and you actually have to buy them separately. They're 66p each, I believe. So I believe I picked these colours out. So I've got, oh, I thought that was black. I've got this one, which is 56 mint green, mint green lights. I've got 198 tender pink. I've got CG9 Cool Grey and then I've got uh, 83 Lavender because they're the kind of colours I would go for. So we are going to try these out. So let's get the art journal back out. Don't worry, I will be covering these pages that I'm drawing on. So let's try the teal first. So these are dual ended. So one is like a... This is fine. It's pretty much like a normal felt tip pen. Fine. I need to get a camera that's going to be facing my desk, I think. Pretty nice. Pretty nice green. And then... I think these are for colouring. Ooh, there's like a chiselled... That doesn't look very stable in there. Hmm. Okay. And then, if I just show you... I'm trying to show you away from the light. I mean it's colouring pretty dang good so if you do do some colouring these are pretty good so that one and then there's the purple can you see that doesn't look like it would run out of ink anytime soon let's try Oh, that's nice. I like that. Let me show you. Where's it going? That one seems to go on a little bit better. And then the pink. Whoa! Can you see that? That looks like a pale pink, but in real life, that's like... That comes out. Can you see how that comes out and then how it dries? like highlighter bright and then it dries that's misconceiving let's try the chiseled end can you see see how that's like a highlighter first and then if you wash it it will dry to this color up here i'm guessing you see it that's really weird why is that the only one that does that it's like a highlighter, but then it, it dries to that dark. That's really, really strange. That I would find annoying if I was colouring and it wasn't a colour. It dried a different colour. Now we're going to try the grey. Which, yeah, is pretty much a dark grey. And then the chisely end. Chisely end? Is that the word? Very, very dark grey. So apart from that pink, they are pretty good. So for 66p each, they are not bad. They are not bad. Not too sure about that one, but they will probably get about an 8 out of 10. I really like those. They don't look like the ink would run out very soon. Um, but yeah, there's those in my bag. What's this? Okay. This we have wrappers. So, ow, why are they so big? Oh, <gasps> need broken now. 
Okay. Oh, I remember this. This I didn't understand. Apparently, this is an electric rubber. So for those of you who do drawing, you get like the actual rubber bit itself. And then the rubbers. I am so intrigued by this and I can't get it out of the packaging. Oh, well, no, rubber's going to work. Shouldn't we say that here in the UK? We, we, have another, we have another meaning for that word. Okay, so we have all these tiny, I mean, you'd have to find a little thing to put all these in. Okay. Do you need batteries? It's not rubbering. Oh, twist, 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 and then what? Open here. Ha how? Oh, it like, you'll take this bit off, and then it like, oh, you need batteries. AAA batteries. Do I have AAA batteries? I have just stolen some batteries out of my DVD. Okay. So that one, I always get confused by these. Okay, so that one goes in that way. And that one goes in. Okay. I was scared it was gonna turn itself on. Okay, put that back on there. And then that goes on. <laughs> that is violent! Okay, can you hear that? I need some pencil now to rub out. <laughs> okay, okay, so we have some pencil. Oh no, I made a mistake. <laughs> so we have, can you see that? Let's try this. <laughs> okay. Oh, I am never using a normal rubber again. That is incredible. Can you see that? <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this. Okay, let's do another bigger bit of with this. There you go. Ready? I mean, it might be because they kind of, oh god, use batteries. If you push too hard, it does stop. So you'll be kind of light with it. <sighs> I mean, that's pretty. My camera died, so I did have to quickly pop downstairs and um, charge it. But this is incredible. So this was listed as a Der, Derwent battery operated eraser, electric eraser, automatic school supplies, leather stationary, leather stationary child day gift, marital, no, material, escola. Don't know what that means. But this cost me £1.58. So that is pretty cool. I mean, I've not clipped the bottom in. But that's pretty handy. So if you do a lot of, um, you could probably do quite precise rubbing out with this and do like a line or something. This is amazing. I love that. So that definitely gets a 10 out of 10. And then I think this is the last one for this video, I think. And it is the largest one in the bag. Let's have a look if I can. Oh, there's a receipt. Shit. Into this. Ah, oh, I like this one. This is, I had a feeling it was this, a paper trimmer. So let's see what this was listed as. I love the names of these. 
So this was listed as A4 slash A5 precision paper photo trimmer cutter scrapbooker scrapbook trimmer. And you could have got it in orange or blue, but you didn't get to choose which one you got. So obviously I got orange and it cost me £2.56 so I will have it on the screen here. So let's there's some instructions on the back. So I'm not ready to get into this, am I? I'm gonna try to get into it without ripping it, but I don't see this happening. Come on! Um let's get let's get let's see if we can get into it now. Okay, so we have some instructions. I mean Okay. Oh, we have like a pulley. This was. Can't be back now. This was underneath. It's like a little pulley out bit. Okay. Is that, is that straight? I don't know if that's straight. Okay, well, let's just try it. So. Why, why, why? They're like putting, oh, replacement. I was like, why are they putting their thumb in it? It doesn't come with any replacement blades that I can see, but this bit, I can whack myself in the face of it then. This bit folds out. Let's just see if it cuts. It almost looks like the Fiskars one. Let's see. Does it say like a, Oh, five sheets of eight, 80 GSM paper, maximum width of 22 millimeters. So we're not going to go too crazy. Let's just grab this piece of card. Pop this in here. Just slide it under. It doesn't lock or anything. I'm going to try and do this so that you can see. Well, it cuts. I'm going to do one with it on the desk. Do you know what? That's pretty good. I I mean, it goes up to... Okay, so it's not a full... It goes up to 24 centimetres here on the end. So it's by about 9 inches by 8. So if you only do 9 by 8 layouts... That's pretty cool. Let me just grab okay, just a slightly bigger piece of paper. So you could cut this down. You just use the the ruler at the top there. So I want this to say be seven across. I mean it's it's working absolutely fine so let's do seven by six like that and then make it six by six actually because then it's okay so this is apparently six by six inches so i ha actually have a six by six paper pad sitting here I mean it's pretty dead on that's awesome so if you haven't got the money to be spending out on the more expensive paper trimmers i.e one like this bad boy which is the x cup guillotine one which i absolutely adore £2.50 £2.50 that would be really good to take even when you go to like if you go to like a planner meet or a crafty meet up or whatever and you don't want to like i would not want to carry that um s cut one because it it weighs a lot this weighs nothing it's really light i mean you can tell it's cheaply made and obviously i'm not expecting it to last forever but if you're going to like a scrapbook meet or like me scrapbook downstairs sometimes or um 
like in bed you don't want a great big thing this is amazing and for £2.50 you really can't go wrong it didn't charge me postage on that either so not bad not not so bad so if you're looking for a paper trimmer and don't want to spend 30 40 50 quid the Fiskars one cost 15 quid and this one I mean there's no pinging it's not on a wire oh wow if you look Fiskars one normally has like a metal wire here it doesn't have that it is just on a, a blade it's just kind of clipped into this plastic bit so that's really interesting but brilliant absolutely love that definitely give that a 10 out of 10 so that was all the craft stuff i got from aliexpress i hope you enjoyed i hope you've found some bits on this video that you were thinking about purchasing and now want to go and buy i'll have the links to all of these bits down below if i can find them if not i will have the pictures of them on the screen so that you you can um type in the very long names that they're by uh, or the setup but they're incredible there's a couple that i wouldn't probably recommend but i would definitely recommend like the paint pens and the paper trimmer and this thing's incredible i'm definitely going to be using this so yeah thank you so much what thank you so much for watching this video guys let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments below give this video a big thumbs up if you did um make sure you're subscribed because i have got some stuff coming from wish in the next hopefully couple of weeks and i'll be doing this same video opening them live and testing them out for you um again but with wish products so if there's any products on aliexpress or wish that you think are too good to be true or you'd like me to try out scrapbooking crafty anything like that please 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 let me know send me a message or pop a comment below with a link or whatever and i will go ahead and purchase them and let you know in a video if they're worth buying so thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye